Hey guys, I'm Steve Slater. I'm here at Rogue HQ today. I'm going to put in a yoke workout and I want to show you a little tutorial. So the yoke is a weighted carry and the objective is it's to move it through a required distance in the shortest amount of time. You could have anywhere between 4 meters all the way up to 30 meters. In the Arnold, we go uh, with really heavy weight, 1,500 pounds, and we only move it four meters, but in other competitions, you can move it further. So the first step with the yoke is to properly adjust the crossbar. You wanna make sure this crossbar is adjusted. So when you raise the yoke off the ground, uh, you're gonna raise it about six to eight inches off the ground, and that way, that'll be enough clearance generally, so you don't clip the yoke on the ground when you're walking, but you wanna make sure you account for the weight that you're putting on the yoke because the more weight you put on the yoke, more compression is going to cause, then you're going to lose a little bit of height. So make sure you count for that. The next step is like where to grab the yoke, how to position your body under the yoke. So you want to grab the yoke. Generally, I like to grab it on the uh, outside like this, and then I'll pull my body underneath and I'll position the bar in a high bar position while at the same time putting my feet about shoulder width. And then from there, I kind of arch my back a little bit, raise my elbows somewhat in the back, that'll contract my traps and my uh, rear delts, then causing a shelf for the crossbar to sit on. I apply forward pressure and lift, just like that. Remember, the chest is high, the elbows are up and back, and uh, that'll create that shelf for that yoke to sit on so it won't slide off. And from there, kind of push forward, and then you can move the yoke forward. Okay, so a few tips with the walk. First thing you want to do, first thing I like to do, is find a target past the finish line. And I keep my eye on that target the whole time. My goal is to go towards that target and past it. Another thing that I really like to do is when the liftoff is achieved, um, I like to push on that yoke with my arms to gain forward momentum. And I also like to keep my hips underneath the crossbar so in order to do that what I like to do is press against my belt and also keep my glutes engaged so that'll keep me more upright so I'm walking like this not like this but I'm applying forward momentum so I build up speed I like to keep my steps short and choppy and move them as quick as possible from heel to toe so once you cross the finish line or stop and drop the yoke you want to make sure you continue to move forward just clearing your body of the yoke that's a quick overview on how to do a yoke walk. If you have any questions, just email team at roguefitness.com.